What is up everybody? This lesson could be relevant if you ever plan to travel to another country or buy something made in another country. So smash that like button and let's get right to it. All right, so some of you have already traveled outside of your home country, and in that case, you've probably already encountered currency exchanges. Now, even if you haven't yet, you're probably aware that there are different currencies out there and that you can trade one currency for another currency. That's what this lesson is all about. So how do we find the relative value of different currencies? What would cause a currency to get more or less expensive? The next few lessons are centered around the foreign exchange market, which is a global electronic market in which one currency is traded for another currency. We'll start graphing this market in the next video, but for now, we'll just focus on calculating exchange rates. The exchange rate is the price of one currency in terms of the other currency. So first thing is we'll always be focused on only two currencies at the same time. So let's start with US dollars and euros. If we wanted to know the exchange rate for the dollar and euro, we can express this in two equivalent ways. How many euros does it take to buy one dollar and how many dollars does it take to buy one euro? So let's look at it in both ways. The price of dollars is expressed as euros per dollars, while the price of euros is expressed as dollars per euros. Let's say that we know that one US dollar is equal to 1.5 euros. So we want to know how many dollars it takes to get one euro. Well, the euro price of the dollar is dollars over euros, so it's 1 over 1.5, which equals 67 cents. The beautiful thing about exchange rates is that you're really just finding the reciprocal, and that's really all that there is to it. If a test question wanted to be a little bit more complicated, it could provide you with an exchange rate and then ask you how much something that costs $30 would cost in euros. So if you keep the same exchange rate as before, $1 is equal to 1.5 euros. So something that costs $30 would be 30 times 1.5, which equals 45 euros. Or again, staying at the same exchange rate, suppose it asked how much something that costs 30 euros would cost in dollars. This time we would do 30 divided by 1.5, which equals $20. Again, we're keeping our proportion the same. The exchange rate is showing us the relative value of one currency to another. In the example I've been using, which currency is more valuable? What do you think? Pause the video if you need a minute to think about it. Okay, well, if you said the dollar is more valuable, then you're exactly right. But why? Because when we trade one dollar, we receive more than one euro in return. Or conversely, when we trade one euro, we receive less than one dollar in return. Now, the relative value of currencies, or the exchange rate, changes all the time. I'm sure some of you have dabbled in cryptocurrencies, this is exactly the same principle. Granted, many traditional currencies typically have a bit more stable relative value than cryptos, but the idea is the same. When one currency increases in value relative to the other currency, it is said to appreciate. Back to our example again, our original exchange rate was $1 for 1 1.5 euros. If that exchange rate changes to $1 for 2 euros, the dollar has appreciated because $1 now buys more euros than it did before. And if this happens, this necessarily means that the euro has depreciated relative to the dollar, which is to say that it has decreased in value relative to the other currency. And we can easily see this if we do the calculation. Once the exchange rate changes to $1 for two euros, how much is the euro worth in dollars? One divided by two equals 50 cents. Recall that previously the euro was worth 67 cents, so it has become less valuable. One euro buys fewer dollars than it bought before. And that's really it. Next up, we'll learn how to graph it and we'll discuss what causes currencies to change in value. So until next time, this has been a La Money production. Thanks again for watching. Please hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to check out the description to get links to the answers to these practice questions as well as the great study aids I've made for you. And I will see you in the next video.